is up guys, Awesome Nerd Show here and today we're doing an unboxing of this Marvel Legends series of the X-Men set with a build figure of Warlock. So as you'll see in the boxes they have different like robotic pieces that build Warlock. So in this set we have a Colossus up here. It's hard to see with some of the stuff cut off but we have Colossus, an Old Man Wolverine, Cyclops, Polaris, Sunfire, Dazzler, and um, Shatterstar. So we'll go ahead and get these all out of the packages and then go through each one. Okay, so we have our first one up here, and it is the Colossus. So, of course, you can see he has his, like, classic X-Men armor of the red and yellow. Um, so he's got his, of course, giant metal arms there, as you can see. And he's kind of a big, bulky figure, as he should be. So his proportions are quite right. So he's got his, um, like, normal Colossus head here and everything. But he does also come with a more modernized version where he looks like an older person. Um, with a little bit longer hair and he has a beard and everything and stuff so you can switch those out and replace them and everything and so that is Colossus and we'll kind of read his little story it says Colossus transforms his body into armored steel to become a nearly indestructible force in combat so that is Colossus and then his warlock pieces that we get is the head and then like a hand that's a uh, saw type thing so we have that to put together with Warlock, so we'll sit the Warlock pieces over to the side. So next up is Shatterstar. So this is kind of an interesting character and it has a weird look and everything. Um, so Shatterstar, as you can see, has this weird like head helmet on, which of course will move closer. And he has like an orange hair style type thing and with a long ponytail and then two like long like rat tail braid type things and stuff. And of course on his eye there, he has the like blacked out like star looking type thing and stuff. And with the shoulder pad and all this sort of stuff. And he's like a futuristic type guy. So that's why his outfit's a little bit um, weird and stuff like that. And we'll go ahead and um, read his thing. But first we have um, his weapons here. So he comes with two swords. So he has a single bladed sword and then a double bladed one. Which um, is kind of really cool. So all together he has three. So of course you can obviously put those in his hands. But his story is armed with superhuman physical and mental abilities. Shatterstar conquers his enemies with strength and certainty. And um, so that is about Shatterstar. And then it comes with um, the right hand of Warlock. So we've got that part, even though it looks like a left hand. They've kind of been in all weird. So we got the right hand there. So that is Shatterstar. So next up is Dazzler here. So of course this is a female and she's kind of like a disco um, roller skater. As you can see she's got roller skates on her feet there and stuff. So she's uh, very much 80s and stuff with her outfit design. Again the roller blades and she has a little disco ball uh, necklace there on her or around her neck and stuff. And then of course she has the blue paint there around her eyes and everything just kind of giving her some more character and then she always carries a microphone in her hand like that and stuff so it's really cool and it's um, kind of still stuck in the position she was in the box but it's kind of something like you'd see a character like her do and stuff like that and then she also comes with this like weird um, like rainbow color energy beam thing so she must shoot some sort of like energy stuff like that but her story thing says Dazzler converts sound into light and energy preferring the rhythm of music as her primary source of sonic strength. So there you get um, this sort of um, energy thing along with the disc 80s or, uh, 70s disco music and stuff there. And then it comes with the left hand of um, Warlock. So we have that part now. So we're getting Warlock all built up here and we'll sit that to the side. And so that is Dazzler. So next up here is Polaris. And so this girl is actually Magneto's daughter. Um, so if you didn't know that, that's um, where she comes from and everything. And so she controls, I believe it's a lot, um, I think it's like uh, wilderness and stuff maybe? Not exactly sure. Uh, but it says from her little story, we'll just go ahead and read it. It says magnet magnetic, electrical, and gravita or grav gravity that's weird. fields are no m match for Polaris, a super being with the ability to control and manipulate magnetism. So I guess it's kind of like Magneto, but in a more... Uh, like outdoorsy ways of control like magnetic fields and stuff like that instead of just metal. But she comes with, of course, again, like energy, beef, uh, whatever, field, I don't know what you call these things, type things or whatever that obviously go in her hands. But, of course, she wears all green. So she has green hair, green lips, probably green eyes as well and stuff. Then wears her green um, outfit and stuff with a green cape and all that. Um, so that's... Um, all the stuff she comes with or has and everything so she's green everything and then we get um, what looks like um, 
the right leg of Warlock that comes with her as well too. So we'll set that aside. And so that is Polaris. So next up we have Cyclops here. Of course he's one of my favorite characters and everyone knows who he is and stuff as part of the X-Men. So we have him uh, here in his classic um, outfit with of course his yellow and blue um, outfit and stuff like that with his visor. Of course he's got his hand up too. Pressing on the side to shoot his um, eye laser things whatever. Then of course he has like his bandolier type thing with the X-Men logos on it. And then all sorts of bands and stuff around his um, uh thighs and stuff like that with his boots and everything so that's Colossus and he is super cool I just like all the Colossus figures so go ahead and read his thing here it says Scott Summers wears this um, specially designed visor and shoots beams of energy from his eyes as the optically gifted hero Cyclops so of course that's pretty um, knowledgeable or whatever everyone knows all that stuff about him but then of course he comes with the left leg of uh, Warlock and stuff so we're pretty much getting almost done with Warlock here so I'll set that aside and so that is Cyclops and next up here we have Sunfire so this is a character I've seen before but don't know much of anything about but um, I would assume he's got something to do with fire because it looks like he has like fire designs on his like belt and wrist and then his um, head and everything there as you can see but it's kind of like um, almost like a rising sun type thing too with the design almost like the Japanese flag and stuff like that um, but it looks really cool I don't like I said don't know much about him he almost looks like with his match like a luchador and stuff like that but he's all red and white and so we'll read the thing here it says a master of solar energy sunfire converts solar radiation into powerful plasma outputs perfect for scorching his enemies and so to go along with that, of course, he comes with some fireballs that you can just like stick on his fists and stuff like that. So, um, so yeah, he works with um, solar, uh, whatever, radiation, stuff like that. So it goes with um, sunfire, whatever. And then he comes with the body or torso, whatever you want to call it, of Warlock. So we now have all the pieces for Warlock, so we'll go ahead and build him um, at the end. But that's um, going to be it for sunfire. And then the last character out of this set, of course, is Old Man Wolverine. So this would be familiar to you if you've seen, like, the um, newest Wolverine movie and stuff like that. This is somewhat what he's supposed to look like. So he's got, like, the short gray hair, of course, showing that he's old and stuff like that. And, of course, in this one, he's wearing um, his leather jacket, as he always likes to wear leather jackets. And then his claws, which are kind of bent and messed up for this character and stuff like that. But then he's got um, ooh, a giant belt buckle there. And then, of course, like cowboy looking boots and stuff like that. So this is the old man Logan that he should look like, which was pretty close to the movie, except for he didn't wear a jacket too often and stuff like that. But his thing says, with incredible powers of strength and healing, Wolverine heals his retractable claws and uses them to slash down opponents as Wolverine would. Uh, but that's going to be it for the last character of this, of course, being Wolverine and stuff. So now we will put all of the Warlock pieces together um, to build him. So we'll do that here right now. Okay, so we got Warlock all put together here now. So it's kind of a weird build because of um, he's got real skinny um, like limbs and stuff like that. So putting it together and snapping it in was kind of difficult. So of course we got the head on there. And this looks like a weird robot. So he has like this, um, like afro hair or something like that. That looks kind of like dreadlocks or something, but it's all poofed down. So of course, has little, um, like antenna things sticking off his ears. Then he has a chest that reminds me a lot of like C3PO and stuff like that. And has a little circle thing instead of in the center. It's off the side and stuff. Then of course he has um, his two arms, and I don't know which one it is, but you can sw um, switch them for this saw blade and stuff like that. And it was kind of difficult because he has these, um, uh, like little. Uh, tubes that go into the, his back and stuff and it was hard to get him on with the arm and stuff but I finally got him stuck in there and to stay and everything then of course he's got his giant long legs that are kind of all weird messed up and don't look right um, but there is Warlock and just so you can get some size reference we'll put um, Colossus here next to him and Colossus is one of the tallest and then um, to show that then we'll then put um, Sunfire there next to it to show the size difference that comes in this set with you get this really tall one then Colossus which is still tall compared to the rest of them and then the average size of Sunfire there um, but that's gonna be it for this uh, Marvel Legends X-Men series with the build a figure of Warlock so that's gonna be it for this video so if you enjoyed please leave a thumbs up leave any comments you have down below and hit that red subscribe button to see more and we'll see you next time